Hello everyone! So today I want to share with you this cute little barn build I did. Um, I wanted to do just kind of a small classic barn and then have like a little horse shed next to it. It's a good kind of starter type setup though I forgot to see how much it cost so it might not be a starter. Um, it is small it's a one bedroom and it has two baths though half bath downstairs and a full bath upstairs and I think it turned out really cute. Uh, I had a lot of fun trying to figure out what to do with it to make it just kind of look like maybe somebody renovated a small old barn. And I think I managed to accomplish a good look for it. The other thing I really like about this is just the simplicity of it. I will get that word out. I will. And it's just a very small condensed build not a whole lot going on with it and I like it I did try to stick mostly to base game and um, the horse ranch pack however it does have some other items in it from other packs um, desert Lux kit being one I'm trying to think of what else I have in there I have a few little things from other packs um, I use the Desert Lux kit for the front, as you can see, to do a cute little like porch area over there. So that's really what that is. Um, I was going to put vines on it, but I tried it out a couple of times and I just didn't like the way it looked. So I left it just as it is. You see it here. And it's still cute. So I don't know what the game will do if you don't have the Desert Lux kit, but... We'll find out when you download it, right? I mean, it's still usable. It's just a decorative object. So I decided to stick with kind of more neutral tones in this build, too. I'm starting to get into that fall vibe. And I actually have some fall builds I've been working on. So, yeah, this kind of... Picked all that off and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for a fall. So you'll be seeing some fall themed builds here um, probably next week. I think I'll get those up next week. Uh, for me, the end of August always means fall. Um, it's my favorite season, so. So that's why I'll start that earlier than when the fall season officially starts. So with this little kitchen, I wanted to keep it rustic, definitely. Um, lighter cabinetry, because I did the darker tiled walls. And I really like how it turned out. I kind of play around with some lighting and it took me a while to figure out exactly how to light this so that it wasn't too bright and felt cozy. Because I wasn't going for like a bright, you know, modern, you know, overly visual look. I wanted something a little cozy, not cluttered, but cozy. I think I pulled it off. So I kept with basic. I kind of put the basic uh, base game sofa in. I originally was going to change it, and it was just kind of going to be a placeholder. But... It kind of stuck with me. I'm like, you know, it works. It works with what I'm doing. It works with the theme. I ended up going more green in the living room area than originally planned, but I like it. The other issue I had was trying to figure out rugs. Oh my gosh, rugs. I love the new rugs. I really do. And I wanted to use them, but they were not working with me. And you'll see I've changed them a couple of times, but eventually I get it. It works out. 
I also wanted to, like I said, keep it kind of simple, but still have some nice decorations and make it feel homey. This isn't a home that you're going to walk into and just stare at. It's it's definitely going to be one that feels a little more lived in -ing. and uh, used, I guess. Decor-wise, I... I could not figure out what I wanted to put where. And that's where a lot of the extra packs are going to come in. They're little decor items. And with this one, I didn't want to focus as much on just the base game and Horse Ranch. Because, you know, not everybody is going to want just those two packs. They have other packs as well. So this one's for you guys since I've done so much focusing on the base game, Horse Ranch, Cottage Living all that fun stuff. The other thing I like about this build is my thought process with this, as you see like the porch area, is they tore down the one outside wall and made this porch. I did not put anything on the porch, but I also haven't uploaded it to the gallery as of editing and filming this part. So I might go back and add. So if you see something um, additional on the gallery, on that porch, that's what I did. So now I'm just adding some cluttery type items. I wanted, again, wanted it to look lived in. And I absolutely love this table. However, trying to put things on it is ridiculous. It slots to really just some weird areas. The middle works, but yeah, I, I don't know what they were thinking. All right, so we moved up to the bedroom and decided to try to use this rug again. Like I said, I was trying. Um, so hard and I finally gave up on that and used a different rug. I like this better. I think it looks good. I actually really like how this bedroom turned out. It has a ranchy slash country look to me and I absolutely love it. The one thing I hate with trying to design bedrooms in The Sims is the lighting. I probably will go in since I haven't uploaded yet and maybe change the lighting a little bit so that it looks better but I might not <laughs> that involves moving somebody in there's a lot I didn't do all that it is usable I mean most of mine are usable homes anyway but so here I'm making a few little changes to the room i realized it's just huge so i added in a wardrobe and i think that turned out pretty good i mean i know i have a dresser but it was more of the space was just so big i didn't want to add more space to the bathroom and i didn't want to add another room i wanted it to kind of be that upstairs almost loft but not quite feel and I think I pulled that off. So as you can see, I also save a lot. Um, I try to edit those out, but I'll be honest, I've been working like crazy um, at my day job and then um, doing this and a couple other things at night work-wise. And I was just too tired to try to worry about catching all those, so. You'll see them randomly in here. It's a good habit to get into saving. Because when your game crashes, it's like the end of the world, right? I know I'm not alone in that feeling. I know I'm not. All right, so furnishing up the bathroom, um, adding some little things here and there. I had such a hard time figuring out something to go behind this toilet. I wanted something there. Um, just nothing was working, nothing was looking right. 
everything I wanted just it was too big. It wasn't, it just wasn't working with me. Eventually I figured it out though. All right, so you can see, <laughs> here's the shelf I finally decided on. And I was like, yes, I can do this. I can move stuff. No, nothing would slot to it. So I gave up, left it there. At least just got a few things on it already. And moved on to the curtains for the window. And I had such a hard time with curtains for this house. And it's not necessarily because we have bad curtains. It's nothing really fits the vibe I was going for. So I just kind of threw a few things in. Um, I do like the downstairs curtains I end up doing eventually. I do want to state that. And these up here in the bathroom aren't too bad. I did not put curtains on the bedroom windows facing out the back. Just because I wanted the light. And I absolutely love that this picture matches that bed set. The picture's base game. The bed set is not. I also decided to put a lot of plants in here. Um, I don't know, in my mind, that's a plant person that lives here. So, if you are not a plant person, feel free to remove them. But I, I really liked them being in here. All right, so I finally decided I was done with the bedroom came back downstairs to finish up a few little things. Um, more plants. More plants. And the curtains. I do like the curtains. I really do. Down here anyway. Um, changed colors trying to see if I like something different color better. But added a coffee mug because in my mind this person is a rancher. They get up and they have some coffee. Okay, maybe that's just me. Who else likes coffee? Comment below. All right, so I moved on <clears throat> to the, I moved on to the um, barn area, and this is where I decided I really didn't like the uh, siding I chose to begin with. And originally I wasn't gonna match these, but then I started looking at it and went, no, I, I want them to match. I like it. So they match. Um, I also made it so that, you know, you walk out your front door, you walk right into the horse barn. And I really liked how that turned out. The other thing is, originally I was hoping to fence these pens in, but the fencing that looks good in a barn like this, or a stable like this, not a barn, a stable, um, it's too fancy for this build. I really would like something a little more rustic with a flat, like, we have the rustic fencing. But I almost want just like your backyard vertical wooden fencing would be beautiful. Oh. And we don't have that. So I decided here too, I wanted this to be rural feeling. So I put in a little pond, added in, you know, a bit of a walkway. Oh. I debated about doing dirt to match what was out front, but I decided not to because this may not be where you put your build. And I like the stone a little bit better. The other thing I wanted to do was create a space outside that wasn't like over the top. Again, this, originally in my mind, this is kind of like a starter home. Um, maybe a step up from that. But something that, you know, you could go out, girl, enjoy. Um, I also added some of this ivy. So this is from the Vampires pack. If you don't have it, this just, I believe, won't show up. But 
I wanted to play with it. I don't use it a lot, but I really wanted to kind of create this look of this has been here for a while. Now, I didn't do it on the main house because I don't like it being in the way for gameplay and it doesn't go down with the walls. So, I'm just going to go with the uh, storyline of they removed all of it, but that little bit in the front because it looked cool in the front. And they left the, you know, the stable area alone. Decided to add some rocks and landscaping around the pond. Um, you know, again, we're supposed to be out in the country, out in the middle of nowhere. So adding in all this stuff has to happen. I grew up, well, not really grew up. I spent my teen years in the country. And... It, it is. It's, you know, there's nothing that is consistent about it, except for the fact that it's wild. <laughs> now, I did live in town. I'm not, I didn't live, like, way out. Um, and why, when I say in town, I mean, like, a very small, you know, one blinking light, two bars kind of town. Okay. Um, I could walk from one end of the town to the other in about a half hour of that. Um, so. So, yeah, I was kind of out in the sticks and I actually came from the city. So. So that was a interesting experience. <laughs> but I liked it. Not not where I live now. I actually live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I like it. I moved here because my sister moved quite a few years ago now, and uh, her husband was in a band, and so they came down for that, and um, once she got pregnant, um, me and my mother decided to move down, and uh, you know, the rest is history. I got a job here, and I like it. Unfortunately, I moved during COVID when everybody else thought it was the best idea in the world to do that, too. So, but it is a cool city. I'll give you that. It's an expensive city, though. All right, so back into all this in the barn, stable, whichever you want to call it. Um, in my mind, it's, you know, a barn that's been turned into a stable. So. All right, just playing with the lighting now. And that is our finished product. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you just around what's been done here. I realized I didn't put anything on the porches outside. I'm definitely going to do that before I upload it. So there'll be some cute little surprises. You can see the living room here. I really love how all this turned out. I, I think it's just very cozy, natural. Nice view out of that bedroom. And the bathroom here. Let me know if you prefer me doing the images like this, or if you would like me to try to do video. Um, I did images here because like this bathroom is so small. So the horse barn, horse stall, whatever you want to call it area. All right, and our finished house. All right, I do hope that you guys enjoy this build. If you like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. I am trying to do a couple builds a week. Um, that might calm down in about a month and a half or so when I go into overtime for my job. So it might only have to go down to one, but until October for sure, I will be doing two videos a week. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.